Welcome back guys and gals. Today's session we're gonna dive into a group I've never dived into before, Neon Punch. They came out with a new song just about five days ago. So we're gonna do a proper reaction to their music video and their dance practice video. K-pop is now in session with yours truly, K1SPL. What's up everybody? I got Neon Punch's K-Profiles up right now because I know nothing about them. So let's do a quick profile on them. So there's five members, just like Red Velvet. So whenever I compare girl groups, I always base off of their number of members and I compare the number of members of other groups and uh, that's what that's how I determine their competition with each other. Not that anything is a competition between them, but uh, you, yeah, it is. But yeah, let's go through this really quick here. So five members. Neon Punch is the first girl group from A100 Entertainment. Uh, after that, A100 Entertainment started posting covers on their YouTube of their girl group. While they did the covers, they were always masked and their identity secret. What? That's crazy. The group debuted in June 27th, 2018 with Moonlight. And that's the song that you just heard at the beginning. I was just listening to it. So what brought me to this group today was I was, I, I just went out to eat. I, I was at the Korean restaurant and they're playing these old videos. I was like, oh man, they keep playing all these old videos. And then all of a sudden the, this song came up, uh, Moonlight. And I was like, wait a minute, I've heard this song before. Where have I heard this song before? And so when I, right when I got home, I had to do a little bit research into it. And I was like, oh, this group Neon Punch Moonlight. And then that's when I discovered they had a new song that just came out five days ago. So I was like, oh, well, what better thing to do than a reaction video? I mean, today I was just gonna take it easy and not do anything, but I guess I'll, I'll do this thing here. <laughs> I should be working on some other videos that are in store. Okay, first member, Dayeon. Hwang Yonggyong, leader, main vocalist. November 17th, 1995. Dayeon says she's a cheeky, unexpected leader who has agreed for ad-libs and gags. So she must be the vocal killer? She says that she's in charge of gags in the group. This is a pretty kinky group. Her role model is Ayu. I love Ayu. Okay, next member is Becca. Birth name is Kim Sua. October 24th, 1999. Her role model is Lee Hyori. What? Um, not to date Lee Hyori, but I knew about Lee Hyori back in my college days. The generation these days don't even mention Lee Hyori anymore. So for her to know Lee Hyori, that's amazing. Dude, she was like four years old when Lee Hyori was uh, busting out in that era. Next member is Mei. Jung Chaeyoung, born July 27, 2001. Her favorite food is bibimbap. I just had bibimbap today. Dulcet bibimbap, yeah. Her role model is Sumi. Eon, is that how it is? Eon. Yeah, the Hangul is Eon. Yu Dongju, born March 22nd, 2002. Her motto, let's work hard. Simplistic, I love it. Her role model is Hyuna. <laughs> Next member is Dohi. Yun Dohi. She was added as a new member in January two, two, 2019. Oh, okay, so she's a new member too. So they're not five members, they're six. Or no, wait, was it four members? And now five? Former members, Terry. Oh, she got replaced. Dohi replaced Terry. Han Dosam, February 1998. Oh, okay. I won't go too much into Terry. Lude. Okay, so which members do we have uh, currently? Okay, so I pulled up their lyrics video for TikTok. So we have Dion. Dohi, Becca, May, and Eon still in the group. So Terry got dropped. All right, guys, for real this time, we're gonna do this one shot. 
without further ado, A100 Entertainment Neon Punch with TikTok. Oh yeah. I really like the the disco style in their first song, Moonlight. I'm liking it so far. Ooh. Oh my god, I love that beat. I'm a sucker for that freestyle beat. I like the visuals so far. Transition into the chorus. I love how retrofied this song sounds. Oh, I love that beat! Dude, I love this. Oh man, I love the uh, I love the instrumentals. It was like I don't know, are they synthesizers or little? They're like retrofied blips. Oh dang! Oh, verse two sounded different. It's a different melody. So far the visuals are very... I want to say the the CG is very like... It was meant to be cheesy. The transitions are awesome! I love like the, the, the visual effects. Like that backdrop is just a big screen. Oh, <laughs> and then just like... Nassau foil or whatever. <laughs> Where'd they get that foil from? This is the bridge. Oh, that choreo. That build. Oh my god, I love this part! That beat and the- oh, the instrumentals. I like what they're wearing. <laughs> what is that? Crazy 80s looking classic dresses. God, TikTok neon punch. Yo, I just got neon punch, dudes. I did not expect that at all. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a sucker for that old school beat. Uh, me and my friends, we called it like a freestyle beat. Back in the day, it was like you had your Raquel, you had your. Uh, I can't name anyone else than Raquel. <laughs> but dudes, we would always like break dance to that. For some reason, that was like the beat to break dance to. Uh, that beat just brings back good memories, man. Oh man, that that MV was so nice. I loved it. Um, visually, there was a lot of uh, good. We're not gonna go back in. Uh, I'm sorry, we're not gonna go back in just because of limited time. We're not we're not going back to uh, to analyze the entire video again. I might do it on the next uh, video, maybe to like analysis. This is strictly gonna be like just reactions uh, this is my first time watching the music video next is going to be the first time watching the choreography video so we'll just jump right into it but uh just really quick music video had really good uh it had good production uh i think it was meant to be like old old school style and cheesy on purpose just because of the uh the nature of the the song that old school beat oh my god I love that song. 
new song of uh february new favorite song of february even though it came out in january okay so this is the dance practice okay so let's make this big and let's do this TikTok, you know, punch a one hundred to ten. <laughs> I like that simplistic dance move right there. I mean, I don't think I could do that. It takes some time to learn that. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's simplistic. Oh, the reaction. Member to the left, and then boom, 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 boom. Focus is in center. I wish I knew all their names already. Window. Window routine. Focus center. Oh. Members back. Members line up, and then they spread out. That was cool. Now uh, the chorus. What happens on the chorus? So far there's not a lot of energy to this dance. It just seems like simple dance moves here and there. I think it was meant to be that way. It's meant to be simplistic though. Let's see what they- Oh, they started threading. Oh, they started uh, tutting. Okay, they upped it. They up the uh, choreography now. It's like verse one, and then the first chorus was simplistic. Now they started busting out the real moves. I like that ripple effect, the, the wave effect across. Oh, these member positionings, like these formations. They did that the first chorus. The line up and then the spread. That seemed like a too simplistic transition. Like, remember to the left and then she just centers. Nothing to that. Like, the transitions are very, very simplistic. There's not a lot of movement. You can tell there's a lot of uh, difficulty in a choreography when members are, like, traveling in all sorts of different ways. Oh, the bridge. All sorts of directions on the uh, in the plane. Pretty cool. I like that part right there. Oh, another like spinning around. These dance moves are repeated maybe like multiple times. You kind of, uh, when you repeat dance moves like that, especially for your chorus and your first one, it really simpli simplifies or sim it really simplifies the choreography and it, it makes it very um not too much eye appeal to the choreography. I would say that's like a very medium very medium difficulty uh choreography the transitions weren't as the transitions weren't as spectacular from like the movement of formations of the of the members so i would say the the choreography was very simplistic i don't know if maybe they made up their own choreography or or what but um other than that it was really cool because it it did it did suit the song because the song is pretty retrofied like that that 90s style uh, breakbeat. I want to call it breakbeat, but I like to call it freestyle beat. Uh, it was a. Uh, it fit that mood of the 90s style simplified dancing, you know. So it like as dance evolved from 90s the 2000s to the 2010s, you know, like dancing just got crazier and crazier. But uh, it, it felt like they just set it back into the 90s simplify it's like that's how the dance should have been back in the 90s you know so it was it was a cool choreography very simplified very cool moves and such uh, uh i give it a thumbs up <laughs> the song itself is super awesome it's very catchy uh brings back 
it's such a throwback song for me at least so i really enjoyed it so all right guys that's it for today this session is now over so tune in next time for k1sbs k-pop sessions and peace Thank you.